here's where we find out what native really means. And even simplified, there's a lot going on here. This input category that you see on the left is how the app developer writes the app. A native language is a language officially supported by the platform. That is Swift and Objective-C on iOS, Kotlin and Java on Android, HTML, CSS, JavaScript on the web. An other language is a language like JavaScript on mobile or Clojure Script on the web. Other languages also include WYSIWYG visual programming interfaces that some no-code multi-platform solutions use. The process category is what the build chain does to the input in order to create an output. I mentioned cross-compilation and trans-compilation earlier, but to clarify both of these, cross-compilation here is when a high-level language is compiled directly to the native code for various platforms before outputting the final product for each platform. This is called ahead of time compilation. Trans compilation here is when a high level language is compiled to another high level language, which could be fed back as input to another process, usually to a language native to the platform that can then go through the native build chain. Run times here include things external to the platform that implement portions of an execution model needed to execute the app, like virtual machines, interpreters, and necessary libraries. The output category determines the type of app generated. Native code is the low-level code executed natively by the platform, and native code generates native apps. A native container bridges web technologies with platform-specific technologies by running web code in WebView on the native platform. A native container plus WebViews generates hybrid apps. As mentioned before, a native language needs to be processed again to become a mobile app. But it could also create a web app if the output language is JavaScript or WebAssembly. Once I put this together, I searched through documentation looking for how different tools worked and fit them into this model. I'm going to talk specifically about Ionic because it is a hybrid solution, but more importantly, I'll talk about React Native, Xamarin, and Flutter because they are so popular. And of course, I'll talk about Kotlin Multiplatform because that's why we're all here. One last thing before we move on. Notice how this starts to explain some of the negative feelings we have about cross-platform solutions. For any solution, we need to code in a new language. It will slow developers down. And if there's an interpreter or a VM between code being asked to run and code being executed, it's going to slow the app down. For hybrid solutions, a web view is fairly heavyweight and will slow things down even more. <clears throat> 